Well, today's agenda is uh, skylights. Figure I'll go deal with those. So they're pretty glued in, which was, uh, which would be to be suspected. So I gotta dig out where all the screws are and uh, see if we can get them off of there. But before I do that, I gotta figure out a good way to get up here. The only thing between basically the inside and the outside is some real thin, thin aluminum. Then there's a beam every 16 inches or so. So I gotta make up some kind of support so I don't uh, go crushing through it. So I'm thinking kind of uh, maybe put down some uh, fender protectors that uh, when you work on a car and then maybe put some wood on top of that and then maybe my my regular exercise mat on on top of that so I'm kneeling kind of sandwich a piece of wood in between let the wood take the, uh, the span and uh, we'll see how that works out as a little bit of a staging area and then we'll get up here and we'll start uh, hacking and packing all right we're up and set up let's see how well this works out I got a little poker You got the little pee hole in the center. I need to focus a little bit more straight up and down. Let's see if these will back out though. Stuff's so soft, I don't even have to poke it out. It just seems like it wants to come out. It is 98 degrees today in the shade. Uh -oh. There's where I get myself in trouble. The humidity is ridiculous. So it's gonna be a one of those days I drink a case of water, I guess. You knew it wasn't gonna be that easy, right? Alright, we gotta figure out something to do for that guy. Well I think I got all the screws out, but you know this is gonna be at least one or two I forgot. But to the point, I think we're to the the point of prying. I think. And get underneath it. Sorry about the shaky cam, but got no place else to put you. Forgot one. It's all right. Came out though. Well, I have some extra wood. Remember the, the little beams I took out of the door? And I replaced them with thicker stuff? Well, I saved those just so I could have the wood diameter that is uh, correct. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go clean up this gasket while I'm up here and uh, grab this guy and we're gonna go look down underneath and we're gonna see what kind of shape that wood is in. Uh, if we need to, I'll replace a stick or two. And if not, we'll uh, get that top up here and see if we get that one installed. Yeah, let's take a peek from the bottom. The wood's got some stains on it. I really don't see any any rot. And the pieces that I have are, I wouldn't say are too much better than, than what's here. Only one that's a little iffy is, is that guy right there, but that just looks like it's been like that. Since new. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. We got all that sealant scraped off the top. Uh, it, again, it's so hot today. It didn't need any, um, heat applied to it. It's very, very soft, but if it was during the colder weather, I'd hit it with a hair dryer or a heat gun to go get that. So now it's time to go get the uh, skylight. Bring it out to the light. It's 
got a bottom frame. Should be held on by one or two screws. I'm looking for where they are. Might be just stuck in there. There it is. So I'll remove that and uh, we'll prep the flange with the sealer that came with it. Just on a roll like this is probably the same stuff it looks like. And I'm going to put that on the frame down here while I got a little easier space to work on. And it appears to come with new screws too that are uh, looks like they're pretty much the same head that's on there, that square head drive. When we get that stuff ready to rock and roll, we'll get back up on the roof. So I took and ran the sealer around the perimeter and went with uh, over the top of the screw holes and it comes with um, uh, it's basically it's caulking and then it has a backing on it. So I would roll out a section, press it in with my fingers down on the, on the metal pretty good and then remove the, uh, the outer. And I cut the, uh, well I cut the corners first and uh, then pulled the, the backing tape off. Uh, I overlapped them because the corners are probably where it's going to uh, have a tendency to leak the most and I didn't want to try to meet the corners and have a gap there so I'd rather have too much instead of too little. The wires, this one's got an electric fan in it. I actually pulled the wires up and out of the way for now. It's got um, two wires that were sticking out of here and I didn't want to pinch them in the roof. So they are just pulled through the back of the fan for now. And I'm leaving this plastic bezel on. It should fit in the hole with that on there. If not, I will remove it. It's just, I think, two screws holding it. There's one there, probably one right here. But I want to use that to center it in the hole so that everything should go back together again. So I think that should have it. I'm going to go uh, huff this back up on the roof and we'll get that installed. All right, back on top. Let's see how this guy uh, drops down in the hole. I'm just going to do my best to center it over the old marks. That looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do for screwing it down uh, I'm probably going to do uh, from the middle, we'll work out to the corners. I'm not going to hammer it down too much yet. I want to get them all started. And kind of like tightening a wheel, you just want to go around and and uh, I shouldn't say that, more like doing a head gasket. You kind of want to work from the center and, and work your way out and I'm going to do that on, on basically four separate sections of the rib and get that all sucked down. So I got those screws run down all the way around and I kind of pretty, pretty much look at the screws, see if it shows. I just started running them down until it just started um, deforming the area around it. I don't want to run it past it too far because you don't want to make it so it's wavy going down the line but you want to make sure that you uh, are running the lid down and sucking the roof up to make a, a good crunch on that seal that's on there. I am going to go back and, and run more sealer over the top of the screws and the base of it. I don't have that right at the moment but uh, that's just for this part of the installation. So now we're going to go down underneath and uh, see about uh, getting those wires pulled back out and putting the bezel up that goes from the downside up. So here I am down below and took two screws out that was holding the uh, screen in and it looks like the, the factory in China got a little overzealous and, and blew the hole out on that one. Uh, so I'm probably going to run a really long screw with a washer on the bottom side to hold that back up in place. But uh, I just want to get the wires pulled back around side of the bezel I can have access to them and we can put this back together. I'll run those two screws up and then we're going to go take the bezel, that guy, and uh, it should fit right over the top of it and four screws should draw that back up into place. I won't show you um, tightening them up but uh, I think you get the idea right. 
Well, I really didn't even need to deal with that uh, one screwed up screw because the bezel catches the inside lip of the screen all the way and once you uh, screw that up into place, it encapsulates it. So that's that guy. We got two wires running out for the fan and it's got its own switch right here. But I'm probably gonna switch this, uh, hook this to a switch that is a double pull, double throw switch, meaning that uh, um, it will allow you the capacity of switching the positive and the negative, both leads at the same time. So you'll have an off position, you rock it to one direction, uh, this wire will be positive and this wire will be negative. You rock the switch the other direction, this will be negative and this will be positive and that will give you forward and reverse on the fan. And I'll have two of them, so one may be drawing in while the other one I have drawing out. And you can switch them however you want. You want them both out, you got them both out, both in, both in. So uh, that probably won't be on this video, but uh, here I just throw that in there. Now that's one done. I want to say it was probably a uh, half hour, 40 minutes, including setting the camera up, so it's not so bad. Now we just have to do it all over again on that.